I'm going to give you five reasons why learning a martial arts form, or kata, is a good thing. And not just for pussies. Now, I'm primarily talking about traditional weapons forms. I saw a video recently of some woman uh, doing a, an empty hand kata in some kind of uh, competition, and she's just... She's punching and kicking the air and screaming like a maniac. And, you know, there's this commentator who's just like, ooh, this is what it's really all about. I, I, just, I just couldn't get into it, you know? Weapons katas are more fun and there's an element of danger involved. If you're not careful, you might bash in your head, shins, or balls. It takes mastering a skill to not do that. And mastery is a very important masculine virtue. Go read the book, The Way of Men, if you haven't already. Number one, you can train solo. Maybe you're a loner, or maybe all your friends are lazy dickheads, or maybe you're in a pandemic and you have to social distance. Being able to practice martial arts anytime it's convenient for you is a big plus. Number two, you can train while you're injured. I did judo for a number of years, so I've had my fair share of annoying injuries that limited my performance and my participation, and it sucked. Getting seriously hurt doing a martial art or a sport that you really love and just having to sit on the sidelines indefinitely can be incredibly frustrating and depressing. So maybe you can't spar at 100% or even 20%, but being able to do something martial arts related is better than nothing, especially if martial arts is your passion. I know some of you psychos are just junkies for sparring, for, for fighting, and you think everything else is pussy shit. You want to rush? Try swinging one of these fucking things around without fucking yourself up. This is a Chinese whip chain or chain whip. I mean, this, this thing is like a fucking bullet. Or get a pair of nunchucks or a three-sectional staff. In all seriousness, if you're going to try the chain whip, for Thor's sake, protect yourself. Make something like this out of foam and... Stick it on the end, at least until you become semi-competent with this weapon. Number three, once you learn it, you can use it as a warm-up before you work out, or you can even make a hit, high-intensity interval training routine out of it. Do it at 100% speed, get winded, then walk around for a few seconds, catch your breath, and repeat. Personally, I'll do a staff or spear kata as a warm-up before I go for a run. Because I get bored easily and I like to mix things up. I mean, jumping rope for five minutes is all right, but I, I sure as shit don't want to do that every single day as my warm-up. Number four, it helps improve transitions between techniques. Man, when I, when I was first learning a particular form and I'm having to make a, a 90 degree turn between techniques, I was so off balance, practically falling over. Compared to after I'd done that form a hundred times, the difference is undeniable. And I'm not saying just do katas. You should also shadow box with the same weapon so that you can stay flexible with your techniques. In case you ever need to pick up a, a broomstick or a, a pull cue or a chain and defend yourself with it. Number five, it is fun. I don't know if women will understand this, but as a male, when I was a kid and getting toy weapons or sometimes real weapons and other times just picking up a stick and pretending it was a sword was fun as shit. So I think there's an element to practicing with martial arts weapons as an adult that kind of taps into that childhood fun, just a little bit. At this point, I've gone to public parks and practiced with a variety of weapons literally hundreds of times, and I don't think I've ever regretted one session. I'm getting outside, getting fresh air, getting a little workout, hopefully becoming a more skilled fighter, and having a good time. So I, I'm just saying, try it. You might actually like it. And what made me a fan of weapons katas? I did Taekwondo when I was a kid, like, like a lot of us, and played around with some weapons, particularly the bow staff, or just staff if you don't want to be redundant. But as an adult, what actually got me back into this was taking a Kenpo slash Kajikenbo class and my instructor taught me the basics, but after he retired, I, uh, I wanted to learn more. So I actually tried an online bojutsu course, and yeah, it, I actually learned a lot from it. No, you don't have a teacher right there correcting your bad form, but 
you do have the advantage of being able to watch the instructional videos over and over again instead of just trying to remember everything your instructor said in an actual class. I'll put a link below to the course in case you guys want to check it out. So what traditional weapons have you guys studied? Or which ones would you like to learn and why? Comment down below. Or if you still think weapons katas are totally queer, comment that too. I have some Viking Sharia t-shirts and tanks available now, such as this and this. If you're looking for something fun for the summer, I think these will be right up your alley. The link for them is in the description below. And you can also help support this channel through my Patreon if you feel inclined. But please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hammer that bell so you'll be notified when new videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching. Skoll, Prost, and cheers.